All right. This is our next game. Let's see how it is. Remember, we'll, we'll only play this until either I get bored or uh, I just don't think it's a good game. Or an entertaining game. How about that? Because there's good games that just aren't entertaining to watch, but fun to play. like it. I'm sorry, can I take a look, please? Oh, there's nothing to look at. Better give me an injection. Oh, oh my god. god. I'm afraid this will happen. If we don't amputate it, you won't survive the afternoon. Our oh, prison doctor, he told me the same thing. Word for word. But that was over a week ago. And he didn't do anything? Sadly, the only surgical equipment he had was a was a rusty wash basin. Very funny. All right, all right. Don't, don't worry. It should be like that. Only like that. I'm, I'm also talking to God. To God. You need to get up if you don't want to lose something else to frostbite. Explain. Ever since that night, everything, every event, it all happened as I was told it would. I I'm certain I was the only one who left that train alive. It's all going according to plan. Every fucking step is God's plan, do you understand? So taking me hostage was God's plan? I know what you're thinking. But remember the gospel. The father who gave his money to the prodigal son, not to the beloved one. The good one. To the bandit. He who had been murdering and stealing but came back. He came back. Do you understand? I think the Lord is happier to see to see one repentant sinner than well, a hundred thousand righteous people. I don't know. They don't even need repentance. Do you, do you hear me? You know, he, he laid everything out before me. Spread out like a deck of cards, the past, the present, the future. Who? God, who else? I was lying there, about to die. And a sister, just like you, brought me some water in this mug. And I was drinking and I saw, I saw ripples in the water. Little round waves. And heard a whisper. So I drank and... You heard God in a cup? In a cup, yes. But that's, that's not the point. I'll show you when we get there. What the Look, fuck? A water tower. That means the station is behind the windmill. The station? Why? We're doing fine. We've only got fuel for a couple of bursts. I won't be able to drag you around with no steam. Maybe we should go around. A nun and an officer? Who cares? But the telegraph poles. The cables are ripped out though. And the road. Doesn't look like it's been used lately. Yeah, I don't know what the music was either. That was weird. 
You see the top left? Like, what, what does that mean? Uh, loading? I was driving, yeah. do this? It's as if they blocked the passage on purpose. The brake is rusted shut. Got snow tracks. Bro has frostbite and he thinks he can move his arm. That's what's crazy. His ass should be inside trying to warm up a little bit. I really don't know what the top left and that's that that stuff means. Wait. What? Wait. What the fuck? The life of God pleaser Bath Holoman. Bath Holoman was the recluse was so mild and pious piaus that even wild animals were not afraid of him. He fed birds, squirrels, and snakes. Even a bear came around once in a while to snack on the ba Beth Holman's wild strawberry jam. Once there were an argument between him and the bear, and they could not resolve the words. Angered Beth Holman struck the bear with his axe. Seeing what he's done, Beth Holman fell to the ground, rolled over in tears, begged God for forgiveness. <laughs> Every time you get points, you get a chance to get an extra fit. Okay, I don't mind. This game is very interesting. Like, I am very like, hmm. Yeah, very weird mix of style. It's like they try to do something so different. Are you still pushing, sir? So? Nothing, bitch. Let me look. <laughs> Life of St. John. One day vulnerable, John fell into a pit. He was a God-fearing and meek monk, so he remained in the pit with humility. On the third day, John doubted himself. He was... He doubted himself. Had he, out of cowardice, mistaken the Lord's test for his will? Should he sit at the bottom of the pit in his own filth or climb out of the darkness and into the light? John started to pray to God as, and he immediately gave John a sign. Spruce, spruce, a spruce branch learned down in the pit or leaned down in the pit. John grabbed the branch and climbed out of the pit. After realizing that this is hubris, he had been tempted by the demons. John cried, terrified. He jumped back into the pit and prayed to God for forgiveness God forgave John and awarded him a numerous spiritual gifts. Very interesting. Oh my God. Where is that? What is this motherfucker doing here? So this seems like it's very uh, religious. Okay. Can't go in there. Maybe there's something in that shed. Yeah, maybe. I'm almost a little spooked. Just tuning in the graphics are great. Thanks. I made it myself. I didn't. Okay, nothing in here. So some doors we just can't get in. Can't get in that one. This door was locked earlier. 
Okay, it's still locked. How do we get in the shed? Can I grab this? Nice. I can. Oh my god, these, this Pavel Servianvich Indica's father called Perisvakia a saint for girls. Perhaps because girls use the icon for fortune telling chanting. Perisvakia, Perisvakia, show the man I love forever. May the Lord have mercy. Okay, so we leveled up again. It looks like every time you get points, you get an extra. Eight. Every time you get points, you get a chance to get a multiplier. I think the multiplier would be kind of sick. Oh, a wrench. Moves the deadbolt. Looks like we have to climb back up. Or wait, I could probably just break through this, right? Love your choices or so, shame or grief. Found a wrench. Give it to me. Can I break this open? Nope. I don't know what's going on. I don't know either. You and I are in the same boat. Barely silent had Resident Evil vibes. I agree. I feel like it's very silent. Like Resident Evil vibes or Silent Evil or whatever. Very Resident Evil village vibes. More than any type of Resident Evil. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Are you a nun? I am. Oh, it's being really playing Silent Hill 2? Yeah, well. What are you gonna do, Mr. Frostbite Arm? Cycle. A motorcycle, please don't fall. What's that? Just a dog. Calm down. I hate them. Hurry up. Was it promise to this game? I don't know yet. Quiet, quiet, little doggy. We won't hurt you. Are you crazy? Run! Uh. Uh, uh, I wanted to kind of die. Cadets? Cadets. You know, I, I would have already fucked you up with my bare hands if I wanted. Why? Well, and why? I mean, why the fuck did you throw away the revolver? You know, it would have been useful. I mean, a girl. I would. I would never. Well, oh, shit. Why do I feel like killing this guy is not like Tell down the world something. for me? If you're God's chosen one. Why didn't God heal you completely right away? That's a good question. Here's your answer. Here. Here. God's chosen one smoke cigarettes. Cadets, March 20th of March. Temple of John Dam Damascus Spasov. The only rational remedy for infer infertility, and soberty, infidelity, and other physical complications and affections of the soul. The cadets. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, interesting. Exactly. Come on. I don't understand. 
So God had enough power only to stop the rotting, but to heal you completely, he needed some kind of tool. Look, it's not, it's, it's not about the tool. A man can't be saved against his will, you see. Basically, look, yeah, it has nothing to do with my arm. It's about the path, the path we've been given, and whether to follow it or not, it's up to us. What do I have to do with it? So, possessed people are taken to the Kadyats? Everybody is. Do I look possessed to you? Yes. No, n not you. All right, let's get out of here. Hoist me up. Me hoist you up? No. It's you. You won't be able to pull me up from up there. Shit. Ilya? Are you alive? Ilya? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What's well, going on? A little dark, no? Of course it wasn't a coincidence, and now Indica realized it too. She had heard about the Kudyats and its miracles, but right now, in Spasov and Ilya, meeting a prisoner who talks to God would not be an everyday occurrence. Also, Indica took a liking to him. Who, this one? No. One way or another, there was certainly no doubt that she had to head for Spasov and not the Danilov Monastery. <gasps> the letter. I cannot neglect my duty. What if there's something important in it? Open it. See for yourself. No. Reading I someone else's letter your, her is greater sin than not delivering it. Greater? How much greater? Twice as much. I don't know. Interesting. Do I have to jump in this? So, not delivering two letters is the same as reading one. What about stealing? Pocketing a ruble, for example. Is that worse? Worse. How much worse? This is nonsense. You can't compare such things. Why not? The priest imposes a different penance for different sins. And since you know for sure which is better or worse, there has to be a way of measuring. Then let us say that stealing is ten times worse than not delivering a letter. What about murder? Oh my God. Let us put that at a thousand letters. That would mean that if a postman were to lose a sack full of letters, we'd have a murder. Although, maybe there should be a bulk discount. What about a rapist? Oh my a god! Rapist is better than a murderer, right? You are not scared of the sin. You are scared of the letter. Perhaps you should not open it. Do not do it. Best knows you inside out, so everything turned out just as written. <laughs> Defrocked, huh? How did that happen? <laughs> Even a Dakia wasn't on the take on and knocked her off, but you, <laughs> first, you got pushed out of 
your house, and then I'll do the full study. <laughs> and if compassion on souls who in these latter days has then made us a new by their blood shedding. And now I cry to thee as the protocol I have seen. Is he the devil? Receive me a penitent and make me as one of thy hired servants. She's not here anymore. Oh, Defrocked. What? Even have anything to say. The abbess knows you wins. What is happening? She's not schiz, chat. She's like, like, she just. I think her. If she was schizophrenia, she would have a woman voice. No. When Evdakia wasn't up, but you. First, you can push the poor cubs. Sooner or later, you'd get pushed out of there as well. <laughs> yeah, Daddy's gonna send another postcard for Easter. <laughs> and it will get returned. Sorry, she's not here anymore. Oh, Defrocked. Any options? Oh, well done, Bob. Even have anything to say. The abbess knows you inside out, so everything turned out just. How did that happen? <laughs> I love the voice acting. I have no idea what was happening. If you guys aren't following the stream, follow the stream. If you guys are new here, welcome in. We are playing demos today. Where's the dog? Good question. I haven't heard it for a while. Listen, I'll help I get you out? get to Spasov. Somehow, Indica was convinced that the Kudets was going to solve all of her problems. That soon the voice in her head would disappear. And she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. I figured out what this place is. This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Marfa told me about it. She, she's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. Where is everyone? There was an explosion. They say everyone was evacuated in one day. Americans, I guess. Very likely. Or the English. Don't be blaming us. That was crazy. I, I really like the voice acting. I will say that. I like the, the devil or whatever, whoever's talking to her. Da, 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 da. Um, this is not the right way. Hi, bud. I want to get more points. I like the level up thing in the top left. It's just it's satisfying. Oddly. T what the fuck? Can we go in here? Ah. Damn, my hands are burnt. Thank you, Jesus. St. Christopher hails from the wild Marmerica tribe. Its wolf-headed people were extremely tall and often exhibited terrifying behavior. This, however, did not prevent him from preaching the Christian faith, accepting the baptism, and dying like a Marty. Every time you get points, you gain a 1.2 multiplier. When you, you get a chance to gain... No, I would, I would multiplier. Hello?
Once a demon possesses the hair of a Saint Metropolitan Senate, his hair begins to stand up like twigs on a broom when it was least expected. During his services, Shinnit Mitri would jump up, scaring his parish, no matter how much he prayed. The demon would not let him go. One day, Shinnit made two holes in the Mitir and tied it to his head and with a string so tightly that when he started the litury, lich, lit your gree, you lert, I don't even know how to say this fucking word. Instead of raising mo the mit Dude, I can't say a lot of these words. I apologize right now. The mitter, his hair burrowed into his head. Since the Senate became meek and short spoken, the demon had to look for another host. This is how God taught them taught the demon a lesson. Bro, how like I don't know these words. Do you guys know these words? I've never heard of these words. English people speak like a fucking different language, me. It's all church words. Yeah, I mean, I guess I was like, I was, I'm still religious and like grew up religious, but I don't fucking remember that shit. Maybe in the Bible, it's it probably has literature like that, but damn. I've never read the Bible, so I don't know. Shit's difficult. Not gonna so lie. So where do we go now? Stairs! There should be a station behind the windmill. Stairs. Come here, bitch. You're gonna make me lift you over this. There ain't no way. It's definitely this. I won't make it. Hold on. We'll think of something. <gasps> exactly what we need. Doesn't I'd look wait like for a, a couple dog. Of hours, just to be sure. Let's go wait. Let's see if we can grab. The stairs are broken. We'll have to go through the mill. Wait, okay. Let me see if there's any points up here. Just in case before we go. Okay, there's not. My ass would fall down these stairs, I'm not even lying. Can I take a shit really quick? No. Why do you call her a dumb bitch? I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of fucked up. He's not nice for like someone who's like the chosen one. He's just a fucking dickhead. Beautiful. Beautiful. We had this. He drew his family on the wall with his own shit. They look so lifelike. What? He was like that. 
didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. He got stabbed. Because of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. It, it was minus 30 degrees. Shit doesn't really stink when it's cold. He got stabbed b because... Well, it's against the code. Yeah, so my, do we go why now? is my camp keep freezing? This game is pissing me off. A lot of the demos make my camp Here's freeze. Here's the gear. Where I see a new cam link. Planetary gear set. By, by blocking one of the wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. I see. I guess we should look. Enter this in the groove between Kanko Parks and Church Torque Transmission. For an intact cotter. I see. Okay. A little bit of a puzzle. How's it fucking work? Nothing works here right now. Dude, it did it again. What is wrong with this cam link? One sec, guys. Here, pause really quick. I don't know what's going on with this. I gotta, I gotta unplug it. It's just piece of shit technology. All right, let's go. Squirrel's fault, I agree. Usually is. It's not my fault. Now, where does she want me to put this? In here? That's where we came up from, right? Yeah, I don't know what I need to do with this yet. Did I come up from down here? Yeah. That's where I came from. Good to know, good to know. I forgot what she told me to do. Something with this. I had to climb this probably, right? Yeah, okay. Climb this to grab that. Okay. Easy. What's the hold up? Ooh. Oh, a book. God damn it. In his first years as a monk, the reclusive Saint Jonah lived with the opatous and shrewd old man known for tempting his brothers and typing their patience. Jonah's no exception. In the morning, Optatus would hide under a bench and jump at him, screaming. Then in, in the refectory, he would yell and hurl dead flies and soup from their furnace into Jonah's food. When Jonah was praying, Optatus, Optatus, I can't even fucking say this goddamn word would shriek and slap the prayer book from his hands. And before going to bed, Optatus would scream and hit Jonah in the stomach with a hot fire brand. Nice. Interesting. Oh wait, I can only take one at a time. Okay, well, I think that one is- It's a cotter, a safeguard. It breaks when there's an overload to protect the important parts of the engine. I see. Uh-oh. Down! I can't go down. Let's go up! Going up. Uh, go? Was he 
like on a platform where you can move or no? Does he not want to walk? Like I don't understand what's happening to him. Go down. Going down. What the fuck? Maybe I'm missing. Go up. Going up. Maybe I can go somewhere. Maybe I am missing something. Because I can only go down and up here. Under here, I don't see anything. Oh, down. I see, I see. Go down. I think I see. Up. Okay, I see, Going I see. Up. up, down. I wanted a clever joke about this game, but I got none. <laughs> that was clever. Easy. So I wonder why that Go one Go down! Going down! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh shit! That's our exit! So you're, so you're suggesting walking Oh! Down. Are you afraid of heights? No, no. I told you, you should have gone around. Ever been to the circus? Yeah, yeah. No! Indica. Bro, this is gonna be hard. Illogical. Illogical. And at least we we learned how we die, or how it how what happens when you die. Let's look really quick before we do this again. This is hard. Definitely hit the red there. No fucking way. Come on, no way. How was I supposed to do anything about that? What the fuck? Well, I must have, I must have missed something. I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. Yeah. Does this sound like it's a club? It does. All right. So how do we do this? We have to think of a way to get around him, obviously. And that was not the way. I think we go when as soon as we get across, we go right. I think. So right here, we go right. Okay, never mind. I'm stuck. Oh, I see what he's going to do. I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. You go right, you go through the you go through the doorway at the end. So you can't go straight, you just have to keep going. I see. This is easy. This is easy. Easy, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. 
How come he does that? Run? Come on, run, bitch! Is that doorway at the end? Don't get me all the way back. What an undignified day. What? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Makes sense. I don't know what to do. Mine wasn't bad. Ew. We killed it. We don't deserve it. It's bad. It was sinful. There are no sinners among dogs. Only humans can sin. Tempted by the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. They needed to survive. To find the most promising partner, give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? Interesting. Very, very interesting.